What the hell? The gray says 17%. Hopefully stop at Arethusa's uh, ice cream to, to have some ice cream because it's going to be pretty warm today. It's so hot. The sun. The sun is really strong today. I was so excited driving up here um, because last time we rode it, they are uh, repaving uh, Route 45, which is part of the lake that we ride through. And I was hoping that they would actually have this um, all paved. And unfortunately, the area that we are going to ride on isn't paved. So that's a bummer. Ride from the lake to Warren, um, to Bantam, and stop at Bantam to, to have ice cream at Arethusa's, which is a perfect day for ice cream today. Yeah, I'm I'm really excited about this ride. Oh yeah, you got new new kit. Oh yeah. Uh, well, his sh Jason's shoes are not. Uh, I don't have my shoes on yet, but these are to these are different brands and everything. But got look how closely it matches. Yeah. So the kit he got is we got from Pack Timo, I think is the the brand, mm -hmm. and then he's got these Giro shoes for a while now, and mm -hmm. it's, surprisingly it matches. So he's going to be matching today. Uh, and also new sunglasses. So talk Jason into new sunglasses. Now he's officially a cyborg. Yeah, I'm hoping that these, because uh, th these are are bigger than the ones that I was wearing. So hopefully that helps keep things out of my eyes. Because sometimes I have an issue with, I wear contacts and sometimes I get debris going in, into my my eyes as we ride along, even you know wearing the other glasses so hopefully these help and we're off on our ride here from the lake from Lake Warmug these uh, these jerseys that new jerseys that we got seem to be very light and breathable so hopefully they'll keep us pretty cool today so in terms of training this is a active recovery week for us and I just did a ramp test yesterday and uh, did pretty well on it um, my FTP didn't change and I wasn't really expecting it to change just based on the way I've been feeling with the workouts it feels like my my power zones are appropriate for each workout. Nothing is uh, more difficult or easy than I think it should be. So I expected my FTP to, to be the same. Um, but I did the ramp test kind of for practice because I haven't really done well on the ramp test in the past. I seem to do better on the 20 minute FTP test for some reason as far as the result I get. I, I seem to end up with a, a higher FTP number when I use the 20 minute test. But this time, I ended up with basically the same FTP number doing the ramp test. So I feel like it was a success in the sense that I feel like I'm getting a little better at doing the ramp test.
I want it to get to the point where I could take either the ramp test or the 20 minute test and get the same result um, or get what I feel is an accurate result because now that I'm uh, I'm in the, the, the build phase, I think I just ended the build phase of my training plan and starting the peak phase, it's calling for an FTP test like every three weeks. Um, so, and I really don't want to take the 20 minute test that often because I feel like it's, it's harder to recover from it after you, well, first of all, you feel like you have to, to taper more going into it. Uh, to do well and then you need more more days of recovery afterward I find that the ramp test is easier to recover from or at least that's what the way it feels um, like I said I did it yesterday and today my legs feel normal I feel almost like I just did like a zone 2 ride yesterday I don't even I'm not have like minimal soreness um, and I went really hard on the, uh, on the test. I actually maxed out, I set a new high for my max heart rate. I thought my max heart rate was 172 and I hit 174 yesterday. So I definitely went as hard as I could, but I guess the key with the ramp test is you're not going above threshold for that many minutes. So when you add it all up at the end of the day, it's, it's kind of like, you're probably going above threshold for like five minutes out of the test. So doing one five minute zone five effort is, you know, not that hard to recover from. It might feel like it at the time. I mean, I felt like, I felt like slightly nauseous when I, right after I finished, but a day later I feel okay. stopped here for our first pit stop. Uh, we are in Goshen now and the ride here has been, oh, just been so beautiful. Uh, these roads are great. Although coming up here, um, they're repaving the road so it was a little bumpy, but this road in particular, nice and wide and it's so quiet and it's so smooth and I love these kinds of roads. Um, also, I just wanted to point out that these jerseys that we have, this is, this jersey is by a brand called Pactimo. I think that's how you say it. They're summer weight aero jerseys and it feels so good when we're riding. It, it feels like I have my jersey unzipped a little bit to get some airflow, but I don't. It's actually fully zipped, so which is great. And so um, this is a summer weight and it's hard to find jerseys that are decent price these days, you know, they can be pretty expensive. It did uh, start to heat up a little bit on this. We just did a dirt road climb and it really wasn't too bad, but it did get a little slippery at one, one part was a little bit steep and, and the, the dirt on that one section for whatever reason was kind of damp. So it was a little slippery, um, but got through it.
So just had uh, ice cream from Arethusa's and I, it was small. It was too big for a small. Um, I couldn't finish the whole thing, so I had Jason finish it. Uh, but now I have cookies and ice cream in my stomach and ugh, I don't really like to, to eat that much. I don't like to feel full when I'm riding. Um, but anyway, hopefully it's going to be a, there's not a whole lot of climbing. Um, for a few until a few miles till we get to New Preston Hill. We made it to our uh, destination, sort of destination, Arethusa ice cream, and uh, I'm the uh, the domestique of of this group. Uh, super. super domestique. I carry the uh, I carry the water, the the drone, and the ice cream. So whenever I try a new ice cream place. I like to get the vanilla flavor and I know that might sound boring but that's like my way of measuring one ice cream place to another because you know vanilla is, is vanilla so but sometimes you can tell the difference in quality between the, the vanilla of one ice cream place to another whereas if you if you're comparing flavors that are you know more complex or like a flavor that's unique to to us to one ice cream place it's not really apples to apples so anyway i like to compare one vanilla to another and this uh this place uh, passed the test it's a very very good quality ice cream Just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we are done for the day. So we did about two and a half hours, which was perfect because that's what we had intended to do anyway. It was just a nice, easy recovery ride, just exploring new roads. Um, and we did 35 miles with climbing, uh, Not, I think it's like 2,800 feet of climbing. What did you think of the ride? That was a fun ride, totally new route for us. Uh, aside from like brief moments at Lake Warramug, uh, it was uh, pretty much all new roads that I have not ridden on. And there wasn't a lot of climbing, which was actually kind of nice. There was a lot of, there was a few stretches that were quite flat. And so it was a nice area to do zone two riding without having to change gears frequently. It was, uh, there was a nice flow to the ride and um, it, it, it did end up getting a little warm, but these new jerseys that we got seemed to have pretty good ventilation. And um, just one thing that, that I learned from this ride also though is ice cream is not a very good fuel source mid-ride. Uh, I wouldn't mind having it at the end of a ride, but after we had that ice cream, I, I did start feeling kind of sluggish. It took a while for me to I, I never quite felt the same after that, actually. Like, we, we, did, we did start to pick up the pace after we digested a little bit, but um, I was, I don't know, everything just seemed like, like harder after, after we stopped there uh, for me. 
So I don't know if it's because all of the blood is rushing from my stomach instead of my legs. Um, but in any event, uh, in the future, I'm going to try to avoid ice cream in the middle of a ride. All right, guys. Well, that is it for the ride today. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Until next time, guys, don't forget to enjoy the ride. Bye-bye.